This $259 million mansion is the most expensive property ever listed in Israel. And it's just a taste of the luxury enjoyed by the country's billionaires. In 2021, a total of 21 Israeli billionaires made Forbes billionaire list. The country is booming with tech startups that have attracted wealthy investors like Bill Gates and Warren Buffett. When you're a billionaire in Israel, you get to enjoy beachfront property, membership to exclusive clubs, and the most expensive super yachts in the world. From Tel Aviv to Jerusalem and rooftop nightclubs to five-star dining, this is what it's like to be a billionaire in Israel. With a spectacular year-round climate and some of the coolest cities in the world, Israel has plenty of luxury to offer. The country is rich with diverse scenery, beautiful beaches, and some amazing nightlife. It's also full of rich people. According to Forbes, Steph Wertheimer is 2021's wealthiest Israeli. He makes the list at number 432 with a net worth of $6.2 billion. He's the founder of Iskar Metalworking Toolmaker Company, which he sold to Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway Holdings in a deal worth over $6 billion. Israel is also the part-time home of one of the world's richest Russians, Roman Abramovich, which had Israel citizenship since 2018. He owns the Chelsea Football Club, which has bolstered his fortune to a massive $14.5 billion. Abramovich owns the world's second largest yacht, the 533-foot Eclipse that he bought for nearly $400 million in 2010. But if we're just counting Israel's full-time billionaires, then following Wertheimer are two men tied for second place with a net worth of $5.2 billion each. Playtech founder Teddy Sagi and Australian shopping mall mogul Frank Lowy. Teddy's worth even more as of October 2021, $5.6 billion. His Playtech company is the world's leading supplier of casino gaming software, and he's used that gambling money to buy some epic real estate. His exclusive cliffside mansion was once the most expensive home ever sold in Israel, until one of his billionaire neighbors outsold him. But more on that a little later. As for Frank Lowy, he's worth $5 billion as of October 2021. Lowy opened his first shopping center in Sydney in 1959, and in June 2018 sold his Westfield Corporation in a massive $16 billion deal. He officially retired to Israel, as he could, in 2019. Rounding out the top five Israeli billionaires are philanthropist Sherry Arison, Israel's richest woman who inherited a $4.6 billion Carnival Cruise fortune from her father, and movie producer Armin Milchin, who is worth $3.6 billion as of October. He owns New Regency Enterprises, which has produced hits like Pretty Woman, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, and The Revenant. Why do billionaires love Israel? Well, in the past few years, it's become known as a startup nation minting new millionaires yearly and earning billionaires even more money. The city of Tel Aviv is home to some of the coolest tech startups, as well as offices for tech giants like Google and Facebook. Billionaires like Bill Gates and Warren Buffett have invested in the Israel tech industry due to both its innovation and positive investor climate. Buffett has said that Israel is a, quote, nation of entrepreneurs with fantastic capabilities, end quote. That's due in part to how excellent the education is, especially the high standard of science and technology curriculum. However, the country's success among the wealthy has made living there more expensive. Over the last 10 years, the country's increasing rich population has caused real estate to more than double. Tel Aviv's been ranked among the world's most expensive cities with a growing global reputation among the elite. With the success of tech startups, now entrepreneurs are joining in on the fun. And now both old money and new money are beginning to mix in the cosmopolitan city. Israel's tourist industry is also seeing increased success, with plenty of overseas buyers and travelers becoming interested in experience or profiting in the country. Israel's growing reputation among foodies is another factor encouraging people to spend money there. Over the years, the country has boasted a number of restaurants with Michelin star chefs, catering particular to its richest residents. Of course, an expensive country means expensive homes. The most expensive house ever to hit the Israeli market is this royal residence in the northern coastal city of Caesarea that was listed for $259 million. The palatial residence is an impressive 69,000 square feet with four bedrooms and seven bathrooms. It was built by Russian billionaire Valerie Kogan. Other features include a spa and gym, indoor and outdoor pools, a wine room, billiard room, and home cinema. 
Its royal appearance is thanks to all its fine materials used in its creation, including natural marble and onyx mosaics, 14 karat gold moldings and leafing worth over $500,000 and silk carpets. You can find some of the country's other expensive properties on Galay Shellet Street, located on a sandstone cliff along the sea. The mansions here started going up in the 1960s when the beachfront area first became popular among the elite. This is where Teddy Sagi's opulent cliffside mansion is located. At $42.6 million, the mansion was once the street's most expensive, until this former U.S. Embassy home next door sold for $67 million in 2020. As for Israel's best apartments, Valerie Kogan is also selling the most expensive of those. This $65 million penthouse on the Tel Aviv waterfront is being called the most expensive apartment in Israel. Kogan first bought the lavish Baroque-style penthouse in 2009 for about $30 million. It's located atop C1 Tower and offers about 12,000 square feet of living space with four bedrooms, four full bathrooms, and one half bath. There are two formal living rooms and a formal dining room, plus plenty of outdoor space. In fact, Tel Aviv is full of exclusive apartments and Nev Zedek, Tel Aviv's first official neighborhood, is considered one of the most in-demand areas. Apartments here have sold for more than 6 million US dollars in 2021. And of course, there's the Golden Kilometer, a stretch of luxury beachfront. One of the star properties here is Herbert Samuel 48, a $45 million multifamily townhouse topped with an infinity pool. There's also this place, Penthouse 24, listed for $44.5 million. Israel's richest can also take advantage of luxury property in Jerusalem. One popular area is the German colony. The upscale area's quiet streets are livened up with bustling shops and restaurants that attract plenty of wealthy buyers. One of the neighborhood's most expensive listings at the time of making this video is this $9 million historic mansion. Ridiculously expensive property isn't the only thing the affluent take advantage of in Israel. The luxuries you can enjoy here as a billionaire are endless, but we'll have a look at some of the most popular activities among the country's rich. First things first, Israeli billionaires love their boats. Azimut Yachts is one of the country's biggest importers of luxury vessels. Let's take a closer look at Roman Abramovich's $400 million Eclipse yacht. The massive yacht is packed with luxury features. It sleeps an impressive 36 guests in 18 cabins and has room for 70 crew members. Each guest suite comes with its own balcony, and the master suite comes with a 56-meter private deck. There are also two swimming pools, several hot tubs, a disco hall, three helicopters, two helipads, and three-man submarine aboard the lavish boat. Billionaires in Israel also love luxury vehicles, even though they're even more expensive than usual. There's a purchase tax of up to 83% on the price of a car. At the Ferrari and Maserati showroom in Tel Aviv, a Ferrari 488 Spider can retail for almost $700,000, nearly twice its US price. But despite the high cost of vehicles, Israel's wealthy citizens have caused luxury car sales to surge since 2015. Israel is also one of the best cities to enjoy nightlife. According to Lonely Planet, Speakeasy Rooftop Bar is one of Tel Aviv's most exclusive addresses. It requires tough-to-get reservations and often hosts lavish parties. Those who enjoy even more exclusivity can join Forte Morphium, a private members club with VIP access and private bars. Of course, Israel's richest enjoy shopping. Rothschild Boulevard is full of designer storefronts where they can blow their money. It's also home of the best hotels, which brings us to our last point. Israel's billionaires love escaping their luxurious mansion for a stay in equally luxurious hotels. This is the Rothschild Hotel, considered Tel Aviv's first luxury boutique hotel. It offers rooftop terrace suites with starting rates of $1,000 per night. Israel's wealthy also enjoy the Norman. It boasts a rooftop infinity pool and a delectable penthouse suite, but it'll cost at least $2,400 for a one-night stay. About half of Israel's total billionaire population owns real estate in one major city. Can you guess which one? That would be Tel Aviv. If you were a billionaire in Israel, which one of the country's richest areas do you think would be your favorite?